basically have um, a bunch of new products, but they're they, but they're a bunch of different types. So let's start with okay. these first, and then we'll go off There's to two like, variants. The, the stars of the show. People love the NVMe under hat. I don't remember the exact name from Pimoroni. Uh A lot of people made, you know, uh, NVMe PCIe adapters for the Pi 5. I'm glad we didn't have to do it. Uh, so Pimoroni did it. Um, we stock them. We just put some in stock actually today. And they also have extra cables. If you broke your cable or if you want extra cables or if you want extra long cable, there's like the standard shorty cable. And then there's the extra longer cable. So you can have like if you want it in an enclosure and then you need a little bit more spacing. Uh, you can pick up one of these uh, beautiful S-shaped, uh, you know, impedance matched cables okay. for your and the, NVMe hat. And the stars of the show, besides you, Lady Ada, our team, our customers, our community, is a bunch of these bells. camera bells. Okay, so Pi Cow bells to add camera and SD cards. So there's like five different products but i'm just going to talk about like one yeah i have the example we'll show the example yeah so we'll do that so we'll do that we'll start with this and then okay. we'll do this and i'll do this so let's start with this so uh actually can you go to here because it's the top down I'll start with this. yeah okay so this is a pi cowbell which means it plugs in next to or on top of a raspberry pi pico or pico w and lets you connect a parallel otherwise known as a dvp camera these are digital video cameras that have a parallel interface. So you need to take advantage of the PIO interface on the Raspberry Pi Pico, um, but it works quite well. And it can quickly grab all the data from the camera and uh, store it either to an SD card or keep it in memory. Um, the So the in the center there is the camera module and there's like a standard pinout. It's like a 24 pin pinout. So there's different camera modules, and different lenses. They all have the OV5640 camera sensor which i find to be like the nicest one some people like the 2640 lower resolution i found not as high quality i really like the 5640 um and then i also have on the left um there's a little shutter button pin 22 you can press it to take a photo or whatever it's just like an extra button a stem qt port for adding um sensors or whatever in the middle is that camera sensor you see the lens above it is a reset button so you can reset the board um, to the left, kind of in the middle there, is all of the um, circuitry for supporting the camera. And on the right is a micro SD socket, so you can take images and then save them. So you can make a little mini camera. The only thing is there's no preview screen. If you want a preview screen, you'd wire it up like this. Um, you know, we'll show the pinouts. Um, and then, you know, you can have live stream video image from the camera come to the TFT, so to show, show you a preview. And then you can also take photos um, and save them, like I said, to the micro SD card. So these come in a variety of different lenses and each lens has like its pros and cons. So the first lens is like the biggest. It's the 160 degrees. So this is very, very wide angle. So if you see the photo, like the figurine in the center is very small and you see like a very wide image, like 160 degree image of the background, but it's kind of distorted. Like you see things are sort of at the edges, they're curved because it's got a distorting lens because it's such a, you know, it's like a fisheye lens. Um, we also have... Uh, this is 120 degrees, so this is also a little bit wide, but it's a non-distorting. So if you look at the image, it is wide, but you see the lines are like mostly straight. It's a low distortion lens, but it doesn't have autofocus. We also have a uh, 120 lens that does have some distortion. Um, it's a little bit less expensive. You kind of, you know, pay, pay a little bit more. Uh, so you see this is kind of, it's got a little bit of a wide angle, like zoom in effect as well. There's also a 120 degree um, with autofocus. So that metal body around the lens is the autofocus circuitry. Um, it uses a lot of power because there's a little motor coil inside that can move the lens up and down and you have to load you know, this firmware into the camera over I squared C, takes like a second or two, and then you can tell it to do autofocus and it, it kind of works pretty well. Um, and this is what uh, that camera looks like. You know, it's a slightly different image. And then finally we have a 72 degree, which is a non fisheye. Like that's kind of when you think of one to one um, camera images, this is it. And it also has the odd folks. You can see like everything is exactly as you would imagine is if you see it with your eye, it's like non distorted at all. You will use the narrow um, lens if you're uh, just. Um, you know, wanting to take everyday photos of people and things, 
the wide angle lenses are for like if you're doing um, like some time lapses or you want to take a photo of like a backyard and you want to get the entire backyard, not just a narrow part of it. Because again, it's not motorizing. There's no pan, tilt, zoom. And so you can't move back and forth. So you just have like a really wide lens. And then even though it's distorted, um, you know, a lot of people when they make like a security camera or a monitoring or a time lapse camera, um, they'll use a wide angle lens. That said, the code is the same for all of them. It's just like the lens is a little bit different. Um, and so we've got code for the Pico and Pico W. These aren't in the store yet, so you can sign up. I have to finish the tester. It'll be in next week. Um, it's only for CircuitPython right now. I don't believe we have code in Arduino um, for the camera, although I think some people have written some uh, SDK C++ code for the Pico to, to interface with these camera modules. And like I said, you know, the camera module is kind of generic. Um, you know, you have, you sort of set it up, you set, send all these reg uh, registers, and then it just kind of streams data out in either raw RGB mode, or you can put it into JPEG mode, which is great for uh, snapping a photo. It's compressed, and then you can save it directly to the SD card. All right. And with that, with all these cameras this week, that is new product. Thank you. New, 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 new.